Hello guys, let's take a look at the blood supply and the drainage of the liver. So the liver is a very peculiar organ because it will receive the blood from two origins. So the oxygen-rich blood will go from the aorta through the arteria hepatica propria and so the venous blood that will be uh, so uh, rich with the nutrients, yeah, so will go through the vena porta, yeah. So this vein do not drain the liver, it will bring the deoxygen uh, blood toward the uh, organ and why is it happening yeah so because the liver acts as a big lab that filters the blood yeah and so after this uh, the blood reach after the blood reaches the liver it will be detoxicated and the real veins of the liver so the vena hepatica then flows into the vena cava inferior yeah so and then into our heart yeah so the blood will be um, so cleaned up right and so let's take a look at the vena porta closer yeah so the vena porta with its tributaries is uh, so called the portal system it will collect the blood from the unpaired organs of the abdominal cavity like our uh, gastrointestinal tract the spleen the pancreas and also the gallbladder and the system is different because inside of it we have two different sets of the capillaries so the first set of the capillaries will be located inside of the organs uh, the digestive organs yeah and uh, so this these capillaries will um, receive, will collect the nutrients and also insulin as well as the toxins and destroyed erythrocytes from the spleen and then this blood goes through the veins of the portal system toward the liver and inside of the lobules and so here we can see the lobules of the liver as well. Yeah. So this blood will go through the second set of the capillaries or so-called sinuses of the liver. Yeah. So and then inside of these sinuses, the blood will be cleaned up. And so this is the main idea. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, vena porta separately. So the vein starts by the union or of so-called roots of the vena porta. So this is the vena splenica and also vena mesenterica in inferior and vena mesenterica superior so these veins uh, so unite at the level of the l2 and forms the one trunk which is called uh, the vena Porta, yeah? and so the vena porta uh, is approximately four to eight centimeters long and one to two centimeters in diameter and so if this diameter is enlarged if the vein is dilated so this condition is called the portal hypertension and so this could happen because of the cirrhosis of the liver okay so the vena porta starts from the roots like from the vena mesenterica superior so this vein totally follows the course of the artery and goes along the radix mesenteric but remember the vein starts from the periphery as the vena iliocolica yeah and so the vena mesenterica superior with all of its tributaries so like the vena unalis and vena ilialis so the uh, vena colica uh, dextra and the vena colica media will drain totally the unimin ilium so the uh, cecum uh, the appendix ormiformis as well as the colon ascendance and two-thirds of the uh, colon transversum the venous plenica, like we can see here, is the second root of the portal vein, yeah? And so it will go the same as the artery, but it starts at the periphery, so from the helum uh, splenis, and then it goes along the posterior wall of the pancreas under the artery, and so it will cross the aorta and flows um, to um, connect the vena mesenterica superior to forms, of course, the vena porta, yeah? And so with these tributaries, it will drain the uh, spleen, the fundus ventricular, also the partially pancreas and the amentum maius. So then the third root of the vena porta system is the vena mesenterica inferior. So it also will go uh, the same as the arteria mesenterica inferior and with its tributaries it will uh, collect blood from the upper part of the rectum, the sigma and the colon um, descendants as, as well as the, um, the last third of the colon transversum. Yeah? So it will start as the uh, vena rectalis superior yeah okay and uh, so let's take a look at the uh, vena porta we know that the um, roots of the vena porta forms it and so then the uh, so the uh, vein itself starts behind uh, the 
caput pancreatis in front of the vena cava inferior and then we can see how does this vein ascend more towards the right side yeah and so then it will uh, enters the ligamentum hepato duodenale will go together with the um, arteria hepatica propria and the ductus hallidus inside of this ligament and then it reaches the uh, so the porta and inside of the porta hepatis yeah you can see that this blood vessel yeah will divide into two main branches yeah so we can see here the ramus sinister which is the the longer um so branch and also the ramus dexter which will be the widest branch yeah and so then we can see that these two branches also split into eight segmentary veins yeah so the eight segmentary veins that will go inside of each segment and then we can see that these veins will split uh, further into smaller veins venules until they form the uh, capillary web and then after yeah so the capillary web or the sinusoid capillaries yeah will uh, so uh, detoxicate the blood starts the central vein collecting veins yeah and then uh, so forms the uh, vena hepatica so three to four here we can see these three veins yeah that will uh, drain the liver and also flow into the uh, vena cava inferior system at the level of t8 yeah and so then drainage of the liver is done and so take a look at some key moments yeah of the uh, blood supply inside of the lobes of our liver so um, uh, so we can distinguish three types of uh, the blood vessels inside of the liver according their flow so we can see here that we have the blood vessels that will bring the blood toward the lobule like this blood vessels yeah uh, we can see some blood vessels inside of the lobule like here yeah and also these are our sinusoids of course and the blood vessels that will bring the blood outside of the lobule and we're talking about the drainage of the lobules yeah like the central vein so let's take a look at it step by step the first category belong the blood vessels that bring the blood toward the lobule so uh, belong the branches terminal branches of the arteria hepatica propria and the vena porta and so these blood vessels become smaller to form the lobular segmentary interlobular intralobular uh, arteries and veins until they form the arteri arterioli and the venous yeah and so they will uh, enter the lobule and inside of the lobule then these arterioles and venous forms the web of the capillaries and you can see that these capillaries are um, so fused yeah so the arterial and the venous parts will fuse into one uh, capillary which is called the sinusoid capillary or just sinusoids and then after we can see that the sinusoids again will unite to form one central blood vessel so the sinusoids will go between the um, cells of the lobule and uh, so uh, uh, the uh, blood will be detoxicated inside of it and after this procedure yeah so um, we are talking about the central collecting so the central vein that also uh, collects this uh, pure venous blood and then transform into the uh, into the collecting veins everything yeah and also then starts the vena hepatis that bring this uh, pure venous blood into the uh, vena cava inferior uh, system. The topic that we need to discuss are the uh, tributaries of the vena porta hepatis. And so we can see that these tributaries will drain predominantly the, uh, so our um, uh, gallbladder as well as the stomach, the pancreas, duodenum as well. And some of them, like the vena para umbilicalis, uh, so they will participate into the fermentation of the anastomosis with the veins of the umbilical plexus. So this is it. What